some USDZ files come with a behavior. So let's take a look. So for example, I've got two USDZ files that I've imported here. Let's go to behaviors. Let's add a new behavior. I'm gonna start with custom and let's add a trigger and let's have it when you tap. So I'm gonna select, I can actually select both of them. Let's just start with this one first and add sequence. Now in here, one of the options is USDZ animation. So I'm gonna select that. The object is already chosen, which is this one. Iterations, duration. Let's see what it does. Let's press play. Oh, you can see there that it is actually kicking. So there is an animation that comes with this. Let's see, does this one come with one as well? So if I go here, choose, I'm going to choose that one as well. This doesn't contain animation, so that doesn't work. So here you can add, if there's an animation included, you can add it in there. Remember to write in there, just change the name from behavior one to the name. But that's kind of cool that you can make it do something a bit different.